Do you spend a good amount of your time at the command line? These terminal emulators will help make it a better experience. The XFC4 terminal emulator is a powerful emulator that uses tabs to allow multiple terminals in a single window. The tab names can be changed, and the tabs can be rearranged by drag and drop using the arrow icons on the toolbar, or selecting the options on the menu bar. Other aspects of its function and appearance can be easily configured to suit your needs, like other XFC components. This terminal emulator uses very little in the way of system resources. Wake is the first of a few terminal emulators emulators with a drop-down style interface, emerging from the top of your screen with the press of a hotkey, Quake and other terminals with a drop-down interface are styled after the terminal included in Quake for 90s nostalgia, it comes with many themes out of the box, including Solar Eyes Dark and Tomorrow Night, it's got plenty of options, including default hotkeys F12 to launch, F11 for full screen. Console is the default terminal emulator ship with KDE, and so provides the embedded terminal for many other KDE applications, including Conqueror, K, KDevelop, and others. Its features are similar to the default GNOME terminal, but some of the better ones are the marking function for directories and SSH and it also provides split terminals, which is helpful. Terminator is a terminal emulator that is designed to make arranging terminals within a single window easier, with features including a number of key bindings, saving of layouts, and the ability to type to multiple terminals at the same time. It mirrors much of the behavior of the GNOME terminal, so many of the options found in that project can be found here as well. Tilde is another Quake-style drop-down terminal emulator designed for GTK, its name is taken from the tilde key, the default key for invoking the Quake terminal, tilde's default interface is very minimal no window title, border, or anything but this can be changed in the preferences if desired, it features a number of options for everything from setting key bindings, setting default size and color, scrolling preferences, and more. If Xterm feels old school, that's because it is born in 1984. Xterm is the default terminal emulator for the X window system, eschewing the need for any graphical toolkits that might otherwise sit on top your window manager. This might make it a good choice for a very minimal Linux installation with the graphics system, but this minimalist approach also comes with a corresponding lack of features. It's pretty much just a terminal, still, for the right situation, Xterm still has a place. The Q8 is another drop-down terminal emulator, this one a part of the KDE family, short for yet another Q8. The Q8 could actually be thought of as a front-end to console, and many of its features are similar. If you like console but prefer the Quake-style approach, this is the terminal for you. If you're a fan of terminal emulators, Terminology is one of the most appealing and functional out there. You have the ability to search fonts in the fonts panel in case you're not satisfied with the default one, as well as a bunch of color schemes. Moreover, it is easy for users to change the colors of the terminal and set backgrounds with JPG and PNGs. It's designed to emulate the external terminal emulator. Let me know which one you use in the comments section below.